What's up, you guys? Uh, sorry that I sound like trash and look like trash, but I figured I'd do like a get ready with me routine thing. As you can tell, I need a shower because that's a mess and I'm breaking out. Oh, wow, I am. Kind of, sort of. Okay, so. I showered, obviously. And the hair is always last because it's really thick. Like it doesn't look like it, but it's thick. It takes forever to dry. So I do my makeup while my hair dries, but I like to use the Replenishing Detangling Care Spray. It's also part of the shampoo deal that I use, the Total Repair, the, the Total Repair 5. Um, I like to use it. It smells good, and it feels nice, and it actually does detangle. This is so weird. I never do my makeup in the bathroom. Like, I have all my makeup in here, besides this, because this doesn't fit. This is the only expensive thing that I use. Everything else is drugstore. This was a Christmas gift from Aaron because I wanted it so bad. <laughs> but, if there's one thing I learned from Cosmo class, it's that this is your savior for wet hair. I never ever ever, that's so gross, it's so full of hair. Um, I never brush my hair wet, ever. I don't like it, I don't like how stringy my hair feels, I don't like the tangling mess. So you take your spray, and I just kind of... Sorry if the light changes. Like I said, I'm in my bathroom. I also live in a basement, so not the best lighting. But spray it all over, and you take a pick comb. Usually start from the ends. Keep having a... Because I have it on the window ledge. But take from the ends and the back. This just helps it not be so tangly when, like, your everyday life, like, it doesn't really, I don't know, I could just be bullshitting myself with this. Let's take that off so you can actually see. But it keeps it from getting super knotted and it just makes it easier to get through, which I like because, again, I have thick hair. So, just kind of run through. Do it like that. Now, sometimes I'll put it up in a, uh, like up in a towel to dry. I don't feel like doing that today. Just because I have, um, this section of my hair here. It, it used to be shaved, like I had a quarter shave. And when I put it up in a towel now, because it's long enough, it kind of just, like, starts going everywhere. Like, you can see the... My little cowlick and how it flows and I have hair covering it right now, but it's all this. So when it goes up in a towel, it kind of just ends up like <laughs> looking like that. <laughs> but today I'm just gonna let it semi air dry while I do my makeup. I go back through once more just to get the excess water off my hair, off the ends because it's soaking my shirt. <laughs> so, first things first with makeup is I use, I gotta moisturize. My face is dry. Um, Aaron, my boyfriend, got me the vitamin E moisture cream, intense moisture cream for dry skin from the body shop. I never know where to go. I don't know, you can probably hardly see it, but he got me this for Christmas because I was complaining, like in the winter I get super dry skin and it's really bad. So he got me this for Christmas and I literally, I don't want it to run out, <laughs> but I use it every day and I take, because I have, I was going to say acrylics, but these are my actual nails, they're just really long. Um, I take the end of a, one of my brushes because it's just easier instead of getting it all up under your nails. Put it on the end. 
I'm just using the mirror down here, but it goes with it. Eyebrows area. Oh my god, that's so much. Then crease of the nose. Because this is my, like, this moisturizer is kind of like my heavy duty one. And I really only use it where I really need it because I don't want to waste it. So it's always my T zone, so my nose and my eyebrows. So I just rub that in. the rest of my hands. For the rest of my face, I use the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. I think Sarah Basket uses this. But again, I do the same thing because I don't want to get it all under my nails. It's the end of the brush. Cheek. Cheek and chin. And then, like, up here. So... And then I just rub it in elsewhere. <laughs> and now that you look like a grease ball, <laughs> I take my little icing by Claire's brush, it's an eyebrow brush, and I just brush out my eyebrows. Gonna look really pointy for a little bit. Not bad. This one's always higher than this one. This one has like a gap in there, which is why we fill our brows. Uh, <laughs> so after I do that, I take out primer that I use. Like I said, everything in here that I use besides my Morphe palette is drugstore. I use the Pore Minimizer by NYC, the base primer city proof. That thing. Um, it was super cheap and I actually really like it. So, not mad. Not mad at all. And then I take, I sometimes just do it on my hands, but today I'm gonna use I just like to use the butt of my beauty blender. To put it on and then I just kind of dab it all over. Oh lord, that's a lot. Whoops. It is kind of an oily primer. But I don't necessarily mind that because it's just more moisture, for me at least. And I hate when uh, my face looks really, like, uh, almost fuzzy from makeup because of the powders and stuff. So just rub that in. Throw that up. Like that. Pull that sort of down. Um, Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> get that out of my face. Now, I'll take my foundation. Do you mind? This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oiled the Skin. The color shade is light to medium, 530. So again, 
icing Claire's brush thing to go through. Get any of the makeup off of the actual brow hair. And then I brush on how I want. And I take my Brow This Way by Rimmel London. It's like a powder with a gel one. I only use a powder. And I use it just enough to fill the little gaps. through CoverGirl Clean in Creamy Beige 150 powder. Um, so powder's on. I don't contour anything because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that. So, we're not even going to go there to start doing my eyeshadow because my makeup is set and this video is already hmm, 25 minutes long. So, I take um, just a really flat kind of eyeshadow brush and then I use a fluffier one. Like, this is from e.l.f. It's a blending eye brush and then this one is eco tools so they're both friendly um, <laughs> I take my morphe 350 nature glow palette that I got for Christmas that I love so very much and I always have a hard time opening <laughs> look at that beautiful it looks like I've hardly used it but I use it all the time because I'm not very bold I don't know what I'm doing with makeup so I can't be bold but I take this one here, put it on my flat brush, dab it off, and then, oh god, I'm going to try to do this. I can't do it like that. I gotta do it down here. But I put it all over my lid. Just the lid, like not the upper half. And it can look really, really crappy at first. That's fine. Because we're going to blend it out. I just like it as my base. I like how it kind of darkens my eyes a little. I don't know. People are always like, oh no, you should lighten your eyes. And I'm like, no. If I feel like I haven't slept in three years, then I want to look like I haven't slept in three years. Like, I'm not here to catfish anybody. Just make it look like I've been dead. Because I have been... Oh god, that one's darker. It's gonna look really, really crappy at first. Who am I kidding? It probably just looks crappy all the time and I just tell myself that I'm a beauty guru. Okay, now that that's all over, your eyelid's very crappily. This is so bad. I'm gonna fix that, <laughs> don't worry. So after I take that one, right, I usually like to go with a sparkly one and I think I'm gonna do this guy bottom corner it's like a really pretty reddish copper kind of shimmer and i do that just kind of like on the inner corner bringing it out then i go in with my fluffy brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit so it's not such an obvious area of just sparkle and then just the other color like, I don't know, it probably looks like crap, but I don't care. And with the same fluffy brush, sometimes I like to uh, take just a tiny different color, like a darker one right here, and use that, and I just kind of put it 
right on the outside and blend it inward. And then I take this one. It's like a off-white kind of shimmery color. I take that all over my brush. They're super pigmented. I love it. And then I do that on the brow bone. And I use it to help lighten up any of the eyeshadow that's obviously already dark. Blend it down inward. Same over here. My inner corner because of fallout. I like to pat it sometimes. And this really softens up those areas that got kind of harsh for a second. Then I get the shimmery one here. Put it on the brush, tap it, brow bone, tap it, other brow bone. And then, again, but inner corner. <sighs> so, so it's really messy, and my camera quality is garbage, but that's what I do when I need my makeup. Last thing I do is my eyelashes, obviously. I don't do falsies. Can't do falsies. Uh, they scare me. That wasn't supposed to happen. So I brush out my eyelashes first with one of these. And I use this end to comb. And then I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. I've used this for years. I love it. That's really the gist of it, as far as uh, makeup goes. I've got wet spots on my shirt, and now I have powder all over it. Okay, that's it. I don't highlight, I don't contour, I don't put blush on, because uh, I think that's really dangerous for me. It scares me. Uh, <laughs> I'm way too uh, not confident to do it. Oh my god, what is going on? <gasps> Sorry, Ethan tweeted. <laughs> but, yeah. When I'm back is when I'll use that. And then I'll use my straightener. And it'll be a whole new segment. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> the lighting changed again. What the fuck? Oh. There. Uh, the lighting changed again. So, I'm sorry. But now I'm gonna blow dry my hair, and it's just gonna be like a time-lapse thing, probably. Okay, so, like I said, this is just gonna be time-lapsed, but I do put something in my hair beforehand. Um, I use the Tresemme uh, Thermal Creations Heat Protectant. It's flat iron spray, but you can also use it for uh, blow drying. It says, tames frizz and smooths hair for a lasting, sleek finish, and this stuff saves my life because my hair does get really frizzy especially after i blow dry it but it stays in when you flat iron it so my hair doesn't get frizzy when i flat iron straighten it i never use the term flat iron what am i saying and it says two pumps but i really like it because it makes it nice and shiny and smooth and it smells so good but this is what it looks like and i think at most this is maybe like 12 dollars or less Spray it through. And then I, once again, because I had it up, just use my pick comb to get through it. Like that, and it's nice and smooth. It's not tangly at all from that spray, even after having it up in a bun. 
and sometimes I'll just let my hair dry naturally but like today I feel like actually blow drying and doing it so it lasts for a few days because I do a bit greasy hair it always happens I don't know it's always been like that so let's just go right into a time <laughs> makeup, hair, everything done. Uh, I'm sorry if it's kind of a long video. I'm still getting new to the whole editing thing, what I should keep in, what I shouldn't, but I felt like just kind of filming today. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll probably end up redoing this in like a couple months or something because I'll end up not liking what I've made today. <laughs> so if you want to like or comment or subscribe or whatever, or if you have any questions about the stuff, let me know, because you never know. You might just have a question. I don't know how to do this at all. But, yeah. Finished. And makeup's all done. And, yeah, that's it. So, I guess I'll see you the next time I film a video. Bye!